Hi, and welcome back to the Envision Home At Last video series. Today I've got Javier Patino with us with All Drywall and Paint. He actually handles our insulation as well. So we're going to talk about that today. Javier, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. All right, so let's talk a little bit, Javier, about what you first do when you show up to insulate a job. What's the prep work like? What do you do? Look for installing all the proper vents, because after that, you know, we start covering all the ceilings with the plastic and stuff. We caulk all those uh, top plates, vertical plates, any openings, holes, so. Okay, Yeah. so that caulking, from what I understand, is done to help seal up the house, right? That's correct. Oh. That's, that's one important thing, but also for fire stuff, any uh, air drafts, you know, we, we look for all of that. So. Okay, so when you're putting foam down on the bottom plates where holes come through for electrical, that's more or less done to stop the looping in that wall, correct? That is correct. Okay. Yep. Tell me what a bat insulation process is like. What do you do? Pretty much every kind of insulation we do, we prep it the same way. When it's batting, you just got to be real careful. Make sure the whole cavity is nice and full. You don't want to leave any air space. Now I see after the bats go in, there's poly that gets applied over. What's the purpose of that? Poly is the vapor barrier. You know, uh, insulation doesn't do the work itself to keep it warm or cold. Along with the vapor barrier, then that's how they work together. Insulation usually works more if it doesn't have the vapor barrier, more for sound purpose than any other. So once you put the vapor barrier, then you really seal the wall. So the vapor barrier not only keeps the vapor uh, from getting into the wall cavity, but it also helps seal up the house, That's correct? correct? You want to create yep. almost like a bay yep. with the house, okay? So what are some other options other than bat insulation? Well, there is a few different options out there. We offer the bib system. You get the R23. Okay, so a bib, that stands for blown-in blanket, correct? Blown-in blanket, that's correct. Okay, and then what are some other options for insulating? Cellulose insulation, same thing. You only get the R21, it's a wet cellulose. It's kind of a water sprayed into the insulation process. Now, how about in the attic? What do you typically do up in the attic? A couple options out there. You know, some people like to use inch and a half of foam sprayed and then blow either cellulose or... Uh, just a fiberglass. That's typically what people do up north, you know, in all these areas where it's a little colder. With the cellulose, different, but same thing. You can get up to R49 is usually what people do. Okay. Um, yeah. And that's a whole blown-in system, right? It There's is. a big tube that comes in, and you guys fill up those attic cavities. Correct. And those rulers that you have, those kind of guide you so you know how much you're putting in the attic. We're going to make sure that, you know, get, a, get the right amount. Maybe, like, down in the basement. I don't know, a lot of people notice it, that you don't install vapor barrier. Because it's a concrete wall, you got to have that open. So make sure the moisture doesn't get trapped in there and, you know, make sure that that's, that's what we do. That's a great point. And talking about basements, too, many builders up north put some rigid foam on the outside of their foundations, correct? That's correct, yeah. I hope you like what you saw here today. If you do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us on our website, envisionhomeatlast.com.